Hi, <laughs> I'm Elle Fanning, and this is the playlist of my life. This is No One by Alicia Keys, which is very popular. For me, No One um, is important to my life because it's my karaoke song. There was a student fair um, at my school and they had like a karaoke thing. I was in fourth grade, so I was probably like nine. And they, they had the karaoke thing and I was I chose to sing no one uh, because the guy, the crush that I had in school was there. And so I was like, I'm gonna sing no one up there and like belt it out. And then I ended up with, I was just singing no one with like a couple parents watching me and he totally, I don't even think that he saw me, but I, I tried, but still, it's my karaoke song. Jesse's Girl by Rick Springfield. I cry to this song. I love this song. This song is, is a classic. It's about him wanting Jesse's girl, you know? And he doesn't have her. It is sad. Even though it is upbeat, the tempo's really good. It kicks in, so. You know I wish that I had Jesse's girl. I have a stuffed animal from when I was really tiny, and it's like a, a cocker spaniel. My grandma got it for me from an airport when I was really young, and I named it Jesse. And I'm and I feel I'm just like wondering if I named it after the song, but I lost Jesse, and I was trying to look for Jesse on eBay. Like it was a whole thing. I would cry to that song because I missed my stuffed animal so bad. I love that song. <laughs> Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. Uh, I feel I feel a little Stevie Nicks in my outfit right now, a little witchy. I love Stevie Nicks and Rhiannon is my song. At a party if Rhiannon comes on, like people know to turn it on because I've been, I'm just like gonna go all like gypsy and like dance. Rhiannon rings like a bell through the night, right? That's it. I'm also someone, when I listen to lyrics, I kind of hear, you know, the words that you want to hear, you know, when you're, <laughs> and you're like, I, I'm also that person's like completely singing the lyrics wrong. <laughs> also, I love listening to the live performance of this song. Live. Blood Bank by Bon Iver. This is such a romantic, beautiful song, and the lyrics in this song, when you listen to them, they're very much up for interpretation. Well, I met you at the Blood Bank. We were looking at the bank. I listen to this um, song a lot when I'm filming, like any film. I just like it's some. It's a song that just gets my emotions out, whatever emotions that may be. Because it's not it's not sad, it's actually quite uplifting, but it's just, it's so beautiful and it makes me have feelings. <laughs> the Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia by, I like the Reba McIntyre version. That's the night that the lights went out in Georgia. This song is a story. The twist at the end is mind boggling. With country music, there's always a story. It's true storytelling. And I, this is at its finest. And Reba's twang and when she performs it and she oh, gives such good energy to the song. And I'm from Georgia, so yeah. Why'd you come in here looking like that by Dolly Parton? And I add the exclamation point and question marks because if you've heard this song, she's really questioning it. <laughs> it's very loud. Why'd you come in here looking like that? I love Dolly. It's hard to pick just one Dolly Parton song. And my sister, we were hanging out in her place in New York, and she was like, what is that one Dolly Parton song? Like, what is it? Like, what is it? And I, I wasn't sure, but then we were looking it up, and I played Why'd You Come In Here Looking Like That. She's like, that's the one, that's the one. And we literally played it probably 50 times in her apartment blasting it in a row. It can annoy people, like especially if you play it 50 times in a row, but my sister and I, it never gets old to us. I'm like, I will listen to the song over and over and over again. And we were just dancing around, because it's like, it's like, why'd you come in here looking like that? Like, it's like really intense and quite funny. Jade, uh, Edward Sharp in the Magnetic Zeros. I think that Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros might have been the first album that I, like I went to Amoeba and I specifically selected that album. I have very fond memories of me dressing up kind of like this and being out in front of um, my childhood home 
and like running down the street and I would do like little videos like I would film myself like make little movies to Jade and get all the flowers because it's I mean it's very hippie it's The melody um, reminds me of like a summer day with the sun blaring down and it, yeah, it's a very sunny song. <laughs> Bridge over troubled waters, um, but the Johnny Cash version. Johnny's voice sounds um, a lot old. He's kind of an old man. His storytelling and I think his mature and how wise he is uh, when, you, when you listen you, to his music, you feel like You've, you've learned something, or he's opened a, 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 another part of the world to your brain. Like a bridge over troubled water. You know, he has his persona, he's all in black, and he's quite serious, but his music is also quite funny. This laid back attitude, he's like the perfect man. <laughs> Sweet Escape, I, Gwen Stefani was the first concert I ever went to. I was nine years old in Budapest. And I got all dressed up and danced so hard. I'd never sweat so much in my life. My grandmother went with me and she was just like sitting down the whole time while I was like literally going nuts. And Sweet Escape was also, was really important in school. People really wanted to learn the lyrics to Sweet Escape because it was like so fast and speedy as like, you know, the, the acting like Sarah McFell on the floor, da, 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 you know, the refrigerator door, or whatever. Gwen Stefani is. <laughs> my Humps is a very important song in my life. When I was little, my sister and I would put pillows in our boobs and our butt when we had no boobs and we had no butt, but um, we put it in there and we would like do my Humps, my Humps. My lovely little lumps. Check it out. And we have videos of that. And our two best friends growing up were brothers, who were, they're still like our closest friends. So they're in the videos. So I'm like, I have that footage of you. And they'd put the pillows and we'd be like. <laughs> I think it's a very colorful playlist. I think it's pretty eclectic. There's also, there's a couple of country music, you know, songs in there. And those do mean a lot to me and like my heritage, but also some really fun ones and, and emotional ones. I think it's an array of emotions on here, which I maybe represents it. That was the playlist of my life. Thanks for watching.